Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going over space weather, ENSO, the polar vortex, and our top story today is a big one, showing the single most important data point in the May 2024 solar storm, the one confirming the observer interpretation. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where both the sun and the solar wind were relatively quiet. Solar wind is calm, geomagnetic conditions are calm, there is not much in the way of solar flaring or eruptive activity. While there are several sunspot groups worth watching, they have been calm. At this stage, the most we can say about upcoming space weather is that the dark coronal hole will be facing Earth in about 36 hours. Three days later, the enhanced solar wind will arrive. Riger cycle uptick still not expected for another week or two. Checking in on the ocean and we find La Nina still holding strong. It has strengthened a bit, may hold through the winter here in the north. The polar vortex is tightened up as well, may be a bit of a break from those major cold storms descending so far south. This often happens after a CME impact like we had two days ago. Top story today is about Earth's magnetic field, but instead of the larger scale polar field, we are targeting the lower L-shell magnetic fields, the nested arches inside of one another, with the L-shell number corresponding to the distance away from Earth in Earth radii. This new study has been performed on the May 2024 solar superstorm and high energy electrons violated the impenetrable barrier. The name is a bit of a misnomer. It's been penetrated before, just not very often. The barrier is thought to be at L2.8, outside of the polar cusp and aurora. Most space weather isn't forcing particles past this distance at the equator magnetic field is keeping them away. But some of the bigger storms were noted to have penetrations to the L2 line, maybe even slightly inside, and the biggest storms of the last 50 years hit L1.5. 1989 Quebec blackout storm, the 2003 Halloween storms, and May 2024. 2024 was not only a vastly smaller solar assault, but the extra energy electrons persisted in the inner Earth belt for months. The barrier breached badly by moderate solar activity is another sign that our magnetic field has weakened to dangerous levels in this ongoing Earth disaster cycle. For your survival food, seeds, and water filtration, years of my searching has landed me on Heaven's Harvest. Organic, heirloom, American, no filler, company of patriots. 10% off everything with the promo code SOLAR. Link below. Also linked below are all of our upcoming events. See what fits your schedule and your interest. I want to shake some hands and see the amazing observers face to face. Everyone's friends at Observer Ranch. All links are found below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.